Hey everyone, today is going to be my IMAX 2014 haul. I got a ton of new goodies and I cannot wait to show you guys, so I'm just going to jump right into it. I went to IMAX on Saturday and I met a ton of my favorite beauty gurus and makeup artists off YouTube and Instagram. Most of my pictures are already posted on my Instagram, so if you guys want to check that out, I'll put the link in the description bar below. Alright, without further ado, here's all the new stuff that I got at IMAX. I stopped by the Ardell booth and I picked up two bags full of goodies. One of them was a $10 surprise gift bag that they already prepackaged and they stuffed a lot of eyelashes and eyelash glue inside there. I'm not going to name off all of the eyelash model numbers that I got, but you guys can find all of that information down below. So just, so just a ton of new eyelashes and even more in this bag as well. I haven't used Ardell lashes before, so I'm pretty excited to try those out. I stopped by the Anastasia Beverly Hills booth, and I got a few goodies from them. The first thing that I picked up was the contour kit. It comes with this little booklet that shows you how to contour. This is what the palette looks like. When you open it up, it comes with three highlights at the top, and it comes with three bronzers at the bottom. I've already used this bronzer to contour my face. My boyfriend picked up a few goodies at the booth. He picked up the Dip Brow Pomades in two different shades. He picked up the chocolate and he picked up the blonde. I already have one. I have the Dip Brow in Ebony because my eyebrows are black. It's a really great product, you guys. It makes filling in your eyebrows so easy and so fast. Although I have this Sigma bag, I did not have time to stop by the Sigma booth. The line was ridiculously long and I didn't want to wait in line for it. So they were just handing out the little gift bags as well and I didn't notice until I came home that it had came with a free mini E25 blending brush. I already have one of these for my Christmas order of Sigma and I'm really excited that I got another one. This is the eye mask bag that they were giving out for free to everyone. I stopped at the Nimi's, Nimi's, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I stopped at their little shopping center booth because they have two of them in IMAX and I shopped at one of them and I got a ton of new things inside there. I stopped at the Too Faced booth and I picked up a new blush from their Sweethearts collection and the one that I got was in the shade Peach Beach. There's a champagne, there's a pink, and then there's a peach shade. You just roll your brush in here. I bought it because I can use it as a highlight instead of a blush because my foundation color is really tan. I went to the Lorac booth and I picked up a couple palettes from them. The first one was the Ooh La Lace palette and it looks like this. It's lace flower. It's really pretty. You open it up and there is six different eyeshadows. It's three shimmers and three mattes. The black, the gray, and the chocolate are matte and the champagne, the pink, and then kind of like the copper are the more shimmer. The choices were between this one and one of the Lorac on the go and the lady told me that this palette was more limited so she sold me on that and I'm glad that I decided to get this one over the other one. I got the Lorac unzipped palette and it came with a free mini eye primer. This is the palette. When you open it up there is 10 shades. So I'm sorry. Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. My boyfriend just texted me. Um, when you open it up, there's 10 different shades, shimmers, mostly. I think there's probably. That is so. Oh my god, sorry guys. I think there's four mattes in this palette. I haven't used it yet. It's mostly just neutrals, beiges, pinks, champagnes. That is so. Oh my god. Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. I can't wait to use this palette and I'm really excited. Oh, before I move on from Lorac, um, the girl just threw in some free samples for me. She gave me one of the mattifying face primers. I've used this and I love it. And she gave me the Tantalizer Deep Body Bronzing Luminizer. I'm not going to use this, I'm going to give it to my boyfriend. I stopped at Flutter Lashes booth and I picked up just one pair of their lashes. These lashes are Judy. And I don't know, I saw them on Instagram, one of my makeup artists that I follow, and I fell in love with them. So. I was like, where's Judy, where's Judy? I bought lashes in a box. I've been following the brand for a while on social media and 
I couldn't wait to get my hands on a pair of lashes. So the models that number that I got was number nine. These are what the lashes look like. I love lashes where they're long and then they go short, long, short, long, short, long, short. Those are my favorite kind of lashes and this is the model number that was the closest to that. I got this box of 10 lashes for $25. I'm not sure of what the original price is for their lashes. So I will put the description link to their lashes, these exact, this exact model in the description bar below so you guys can check out. I also stopped by the Hakohodo brushes booth at IMAX and I got a few of their brushes. I've never tried their brushes before. I've heard about them from a few of my makeup artists. All I know is that they're really expensive and I was like, what better time to try them out than at IMATS because they're going to be offering discounts. I was originally looking for a pencil brush and the girl that was helping me out, she was so cute. She was trying to help me, but I don't think she spoke English that well. So she ended up coming back with this brush. And as you guys can tell, apparently it's a painter brush. So you would... I guess use this for painting or if you want to like body painting or something like crazy for like I don't know Halloween or something but I was like why not I'll take it I got this brush um, my version of a blending brush they had like four of them or something and I picked this one I believe this one was like blue squirrel hair so I was like oh my god that's pretty cool a squirrel so I bought it because it was a squirrel and it was a blending brush and I was like I want Hakuhoda brushes so I will put the model number in my description link I don't know it because it's not on this brush but I'm gonna go through their website and search it out and the last brush that I got at Hakuhoda was a pencil brush and this is what it looks like I wanted to get a few of these from Sigma but the line was ridiculous and I was like there's nobody at Hakuhoda let's go I stopped by the Violet Voss booth and this was their cute little packaging that they put their products in when you bought something. I picked up a couple glitters and the glitters were four glitters for $30. You got one of their glitter brushes and as well as the glitter adhesive. So here's the brush, here's a little adhesive. The four colors that I got were Raven which is kind of like a black mixed with like blues and like purples and like greens. It's extremely pretty. You guys can see it right there. The next one I got was Kiki, kind of like a baby pink with silver. I got the Wendy Whites. I don't have white glitter, so I'm excited about that. And the last one that I got was Raven, which is like an electric navy blue. Super, 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 super pretty. I checked out the Nurturing Force booth. This is one of like the new brands. I know that they were based out of New Jersey. That's what they were telling me when I was talking to them. And I bought their number one bestsellers little kit. I think it was like $50. It came with their Twinkle Not Wrinkle Eye Cream Base. And it's just a primer. Oh, I guess it's wrapped up. It's just like a primer. It's like a little white cream. You just use it for your eyeshadow primer. And I got their Shine and their face primer. And their face primer is called Blot Out Offensive Shining Oil Control Cream. Again, same thing. You just use that as primer and this is pretty cool it's kind of it looks like eye drops but you just drop these in with your eyeshadows you mix this like take a drop you mix it with your eyeliner your eyeshadow or your foundation and it creates a luminous finish it makes your makeup glowing and it's basically better than using water which is like fix plus instead of spraying your makeup with fix plus or whatever you want to do spray your brushes when you do your eyeshadows or stuff like that you use a drop of this and the last thing that I got was a little roll of their blotting paper wipes I've never used these things before I tried it when I was at IMATS I took it and my nose was a little shiny so I just like dabbed it on my nose and it took all the shine out and it was and made my skin perfect and I was like I'm just gonna try you guys this brand this is IMATS you guys aren't sold here in California when I was at IMATS I also subscribed to the makeup magazine this is what their current issue looks like Again, it's just full of all of the industry makeup artists and products and stuff like that that's trending in the makeup world. I was like, um, I love reading magazines. I probably am subscribed to about like 20 different ones. I get them all the time. I'm obsessed. And I didn't know that there was a makeup magazine. So I had one. So when I found out that there was going to be a booth at IMATS, I was like, I'm sold. I need a subscription. I need to sign up. So when I went and signed up for their subscription, they gave me their current issue for free right now. And there was a contest where you 
basically just filled out your information if you subscribe to their magazine and they were doing a drawing at like four o'clock so come back to their booth and then they were going to do a drawing and you would win like this gift bag full of like all these goodies so i was like oh okay cool i'll enter it so i entered it and at four o'clock um i pretty much got through the whole imats all the booths that i wanted to cover besides sigma because the line was ridiculous but i got through all the booths that i wanted to do and i was like you know what let's just figure out if i won the drawing and then after that let's just go so i went back to the booth and they called some girl, they were like, Allison or whatever, and I was like, oh, what the hell, I lost. But they are like, oh, she's not here to claim her prize, so the next person, and guess what, guys, I won. And then I was like, what the heck, like, are you serious? So they gave me my prize in this tote bag makeup magazine. It came with this movie, and it was Beauty and Age Makeup, from script to screen, featuring Bill Corzo, the Academy Award-winning makeup artist, and a lot of books. So, Grande Illusions, book two, I don't know. It looks like a makeup artist from like horror movies or something. I don't know. It's scary. <laughs> the technique of the professional makeup artist. So a lot of like tips and tricks about makeup artists. All from like film to like horror movies. Just like, I don't know. Building masks. I don't know. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> I got the Metaphor FX Art of Constantine Seagrees. Seagrees. I don't know. Seems like it's a book or something like that. Seems like it's from a... Oh. Work. I never actually went through these books. <laughs> the drawings in here are insane. Like... Seems like a book that I would have got at like, my college. That's gross. Alright. <laughs> and I got... A book on Asian faces. Work. So I learned about. Oh my god, it tells you how to do everything. This should come in handy for future clients, hopefully. And I got this gift a makeup artist business card holder. Like, I don't even have business cards, but when I get them, I'm putting them in this. Like, isn't that cool? Makeup artist. Yeah. And last thing that I got in my goodie bag was the Bobbi Brown Makeup Manual. And I'm obsessed with this. I was reading it and it literally gives you every single tip about makeup. From like traveling to like your everyday storage makeup, to your desk, to how to do your makeup, like contouring, highlighting, everything. Everything, guys. This book is amazing. Like, let me just show you guys. It shows you mascara applicating tips and like special occasion makeup like it's just this book is so beautiful the pictures in here are incredible I don't know I am so glad I got this book because I love it and most of the makeup and the tips and stuff like that that are inside this book are all uh, I guess I wouldn't say most I'm pretty sure all of it because it's a Bobbi Brown book it's all Bobbi Brown products I don't have any Bobbi Brown products I am excited to try them out so thank you Bobbi Brown and thank you Makeup Magazine most importantly thank you IMATS because I had a really great experience at IMATS I cannot wait for IMATS 2015 I will be there again hopefully my following will get much bigger within this year and I will have a few fans to meet so Again, it makes me so happy to know that there are people out there that are watching my videos, that are subscribing to my channel, and that are checking out my opinions on makeup. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like my videos, comment below, tell me what you guys want to see me do. What kind of tutorials should I do, like reviews on products that I have, swatches or whatever. And I will have all of the information where you can get all the products that I got from IMATS in my description bar below. Thanks again for watching, you guys, and I will see all of you later. Bye!